<laughs> people backbiting. Backbiting. You, you get to see the stuff that you didn't see on the floor. Exactly. You don't people even like, want to see yeah. now. You want to? Un- you can't unsee it anymore. You're like, 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 are y'all really? Y'all really just mean to each other? Exactly. Like, they come back and just be like, mm. oh, like, like be friends in the office. And exactly. Come back and be like cursing each other out to me. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> why? Like, like I don't. Why, I don't why, get why it. Why do you do this? Exactly. You're all, you're all making salary. Yeah, exactly. It's not changing. I know. Whether you curse that person out or not. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to change. Yeah. So what are you, uh, we're still arguing about. So I, upset I mean, people, I, I'm talking. And that's the thing is there's toxicity in those aspects that I can't stand to be around. Mm-hmm. You know, so because of that toxicity, like I take everything in. So I don't want to deal. I just like you know. You I don't, I don't want to deal with that type of stuff. You don't want that being absorbed into yeah, you. Yeah, into and exactly you run, running with it. I exactly. Tell you, bro, yeah. That the toxic stuff, man. We are gonna yeah. get right on that toxic stuff. Yeah. Toxic environments on yeah. the D and D leveling up podcast. podcast. And, and if, if you, you don't, don't know, know, now you know. know. Right, y'all, man. Like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like button. Yes. Give us a little like. Give yes. us a little su- subscribe. Comment real yes. quick. <laughs> yes, please. Quick. Comment and go to our um, Patreon account. If you guys love our content, please go to our Patreon account. Also, go to our tip jar if you, su- you want to support us in any type of way, financially, in any aspect. We completely appreciate that because we want to try to level up. We want to get more more, uh, more content for you. We want to be able to, to uh, make different adjustments that's right. beneficial to you. We want to get more information out to you. We want to get more guests. We want to provide different spaces for you. Um, so if you can, we do appreciate it. And we we um, we thank you so much. For That's watching. right. We just in here trying to level this up for you guys. Yeah. Right. And if you see somebody that might need this information, mm-hmm. pass it on. Yes, please. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like, comment, or subscribe, mm-hmm. share. Yeah. At least please share. Least please share. share. Please if you know share. Somebody that would, would benefit <laughs> from these lessons. Yeah. Send it out. Yeah. Okay. Don't wait. Thank you. It's on you now. It's on you. All right. We so appreciate you. This toxic <laughs> yeah. man. People yeah. dealing with. Mm-hmm. The toxic environments at toxicity. work, toxicity, or let's say toxic, toxic relationships, groups, groups and re- toxic, group. relationships. <laughs> toxic relationships, man. toxicity. It all goes back to the toxic relationships, man. Yeah, yeah, it does. I, I really, I don't like mm. when somebody can talk to you about somebody mm. behind their back, yeah, and then be all buddy buddy. buddy yeah, exactly. Together. It's insincere. I don't, I don't like yo. I don't like to see that. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yo, yeah. Just cut that out. Say exactly. What you need to say. Exactly. Cut this out, man. Yeah. Cause that right there. Yeah, it's pretension. Oh my god, it it it, it makes me. Mm-hmm. It kind of makes my skin crawl just a little bit, bro. I'm a yeah, little does. disgusted by it. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo, and you gotta watch yourself because you end up. You end up like right behind them. Right behind them doing the exact same doing thing. The exact same thing. And I thought the about that too. Like that. The energy is like that, you know, because I thought about it and I was like, wow. So you know what? I was kind of like leaning in that that direction because you're being influenced by yeah. that person. So you're like in that vein because you want to agree and disagree and you become like them because and that's you, you just got there. Yeah. So now you're a new you're kind of like a new vessel, sort of kind of yeah. soaking trying to soak up things to yeah. be in that position. Yeah. And it's like when people are around you doing that, it's like, is this how it yeah. is up here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how how do I mm. keep me? Yeah. While I'm learning. Yeah. Something while I'm in a new environment and yeah. doing something new, is there a new mm. me that's yeah. going to come out now? Yeah. Is there is there a, there's things you got to start making yourself aware of mm. when you start moving into new realms, man. Mm. You move into a different realm, bro, mm. and it's like I can see. That's I, I guess that's 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 kind of why mm-hmm. I didn't do the whole assistant principal principal yeah. thing just yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm like it's another realm, and I kind of see how they all <laughs> yeah how they yeah all have to yeah. interact. And it's yeah. like what what what? I part? saw that. I yeah. was like, oh, yo. Yeah. I started teaching. I was like, yeah, I already know. <laughs> Three years from now, I'm going mm-hmm. after assistant principal. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going out the principal. I, yeah. I got my plan already. And then yeah. I saw mm. one of my principals got hit in the back of the head with an orange at lunch. <laughs> oh, gosh. I couldn't. He was like, uh-uh. I couldn't unsee that. <laughs> then I saw you saw, the you saw yourself principals dude. running around. Yeah. Like, like, they were running around like we were. But, yeah. like, just yeah. mm. for bigger groups of kids. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. 
yo, yeah. what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what bills do you have that you have to be here? <laughs> the toxicness, the bro. The toxicness. The toxic jobs we take on, man. Yeah. Um, That's why we're trying to we're trying to level up so we don't have to do this job. We give you provide you with more more uh, more services and more um, information and more. Um, uh, things that can help you level up. We want to level up out of this. Yeah. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day. Uh, it's this, this uh, uh, artist named Angel. Mm-hmm. She definitely wants to come on our podcast. So we got we got Angel oh, on dope. here. We got we got to get dope. Angel on. She's she's doing a, a a single with Mike Smith. You know Mike Smith? No, not yet. No. So Mike Smith is a like an artist, I guess, out of Miami. He used to be on Slip and Slide. He has okay. so he has his own. You know, Rick Ross been on Slip and Slide. He has his own label. So he's got some stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. so eventually she's gonna go on. But one thing she talked about was like us underdogs getting, you know, oh. getting ours after a while. Cause there's, I think it's her song's called "It's My Time." Oh. So it's like you oh, gotta, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta be like your time. You know, it's like you gotta get. I think sometimes it's good for these. You know, sometimes we we it's bothersome for us to be in toxic situations like this. Mm-hmm. But we have to recognize that God is allowing you the knowledge and awareness. That this is toxic. I need to yeah. get out of it. Ooh. So what do I need to do to to loo- to like get another vision or a strategy out of these things? Right. It's almost like I have to thank him because now I got to work hard to get out of it. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You were going to say something. Go ahead. No, 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 man. I was, I was listening to you, what, you, what you were saying, man, because I'm just like, mm-hmm. like, I'm just starting to see like where... This is like, you know, taking a plane trip for me. Mm-hmm. It's like once you get past it's certain levels mm-hmm. of the air where you just don't want to be. Yeah, yeah. That's where the turbulence is happening. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's where, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. God is trying to get us to that that slipstream. Man. Yeah, when you just like, you're just cruising. Yeah. Feet in the air, you know Exactly, you're like, where's the ceiling there? at? Like, where is this? Exactly. We were climbing. Exactly. Where are we going, guys? Exactly. Where is the, where is the momentum? <laughs> where's the momentum? You, you know, almost can feel momentum, though, sometimes in your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm here, and then you're like, taper out, and you're like, Okay, why are we still ooh, here? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I'm You're like, so mad with the pilot, bro. <laughs> I'm like, why are we still at this altitude? Exactly. I know this isn't it. Exactly. You know, know it's not it. I know we haven't reached cruising, yeah. cruising speed. I know we're not there. What's yeah. taking us so long to break through? Exactly. And that, I think that's the question you was asking. Like, we were talking about the whole gratefulness thing. Yeah. I had to think about, even when I was talking to, to D about just acquiring certain things and thinking about the things I already have, like, I probably like maybe two or three years ago, I've been like super happy to even be in this position now. But at the same time, you're like, I don't think God allows you to feel complacent, to get complacent at at certain things. You want to be grateful, but you can't be complacent because then you won't, you won't be pushed out. It's like sometimes we, we, we think that anger or righteous indignation about certain things is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good thing because you recognize like, I can't stay here anymore. I have to move out of this. I have to move. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to be like, you know, okay, what do I need to do to do that? I have to go home. I've got to start working on my business. I got to force myself, even though the energy that I have is being redirected in so many places, Mm -hmm. I got to find a way to be like, okay, I got to take my energy and place it here. Right. Because if I don't do that, then I'm going to be in a situation where like, I'm just going to dissipate my energy on entertaining myself so I could try to to relax or try to, to, to entertain myself to death. So I don't have to deal with yep. the thing that's toxic that I think is toxic in my life, which could be people, situations, workplaces, anything, right. relationships, anything that has to be toxic that's that's robbing you of your peace. You know what I'm saying? Man, that that robbing you of your peace thing is yeah. so big um, in my brain. Sometimes I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, I'll I'll play I'll play the video game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had those we had those we had those days where it's, it's mm-hmm. just it's but it's toxic. Yeah. Like, it's toxic for me because yeah. it's not just that's not just my off time. Yeah. That is my turned off time. Yeah. I'm turned off to my investments. Mm. I'm turned off to work. Yeah. I'm turned off to mm. to to anything that's going on in my life mm. because it's so busy. Yeah. Overwhelming. And I'm just it's overwhelming and yeah. you're like, "Oh, here's here's here here you go." <laughs> my, yeah. Uh, if for lack of a better word, it's uh, what I like to call people's pacifier. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> People yeah. pass. Oh, that's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. it is. You use a pacifier. pacifier. It's almost like I mean, everyone uses the pacifier. Pacify. Exactly. The word. I, I, I used. I, you know what I'm saying? When I say it, right? Mm. I'm thinking of the object, but at the same time, I'm thinking about the word. Yeah. Pa- pacify. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To 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 um. To let things, you know, go mm. past you, you know. What I'm Yo, saying? I didn't even to think about it like that. Yeah, pass by you. Yeah, the literal the pacifier is a pacifier. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, like it is what it or is. Or pass the fire. You know, what pass saying? the fire. It's the <laughs> fire that you got going on. Pass, pass it over. Fire. You're not passing that. Exactly. You're not passing it, so you're gonna pacify yourself until yeah. you get where you're going. Yeah. You're passing and, the uh, fire away because you know it's fire that you're dealing with. Ooh. So you're passing the fire over here because you, you it's too this, hot. This is the See, fire over here. You're going to yeah, pass it. You're going to pass it. Pass it. Pass it with the time. Yeah. You're wasting your time. And I had so much a hard time. Mm. Since we're talking about toxic stuff, man, it's, 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 it's one thing mm. to, to have a habit mm. that you do mm-hmm. or a hobby that you do mm-hmm. when things get, when you planned the time to be off. Okay. Yeah. But... Mm. When you just need something else to do because you're overwhelmed, yeah, yeah, with everything mm-hmm. else, mm-hmm. It, that can be that's the toxic that's the toxic part of the day. Yeah, like for me, I'm like the, the, I was looking at this game on my phone. And I was mm-hmm. like, I know I didn't know. I took <laughs> it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. took it off. I'm like, yeah. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't. Yeah, like go back on it and play. Yeah, and I'm on there. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Mm-hmm. And the game's built to where, like, mm-hmm. the game doesn't stop because you want to stop. You can't pause keeps, it anymore. It keeps you engaged. Yeah, you keeps can't you engaged, pause it, it holds anymore. You, you got to play it. You got to hold it. And then there's a penalty <laughs> if yeah. you hop out of the game in the middle. Of course, because they want you to just play the just game. Like they just want you to play all day. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I made it to the point where I don't pay for anything on there. <laughs> yes, but yes. now I'm like, mm-hmm. now you're just on it. Yeah. I'm trying to stay on it because mm-hmm. you ain't pay for nothing. So now the game t- it takes a little, yeah. a little longer. Maybe it's a little harder to play. Yeah. So, they're like, man, I'm just asking people, like, I want to ask you guys, mm-hmm. what's your pacifier? Yeah, what pacifies you? What are you passing the fire from? Cause what right. fire are you dealing with in life that you're not putting out yourself? That you're it's, passing you're over. You're passing over. You're not putting out this fire because we have different fires in our life. And some of them we have to put them out. And, and the thing is, you can't put these fires out. They consume you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, passing it over... Doesn't mean the fire's not burning. It's not gonna come and get you eventually. Right. It's, you're still in the frying pan. You're still in the frying pan. You're still gonna get you still gonna get burned. So you gotta you gotta figure out a way. Like, I gotta put this fire out. Some way. You gotta get a strategy. Like, okay, this is this is almost like the whole, like we talked about this whole momentum thing and streaming thing. It's like there's things that's stopping you, but you gotta put those fires out. It's like almost like you see your momentum going here. Mm-hmm. Then you're stopped here. There's a ceiling. You're like, man, where is the ceiling? It's always you. Right. It's always you. Yeah. You are always the the, the, the the determining factor in breaking the ceiling. But sometimes it's the energy that you got dissipated in so many things, entertaining yourself so you don't have to deal with the fire. Oof. So because you entertain, because you it's almost like people who take drugs or alcohol, they gamble. Mm-hmm. Those are the things to pacify you from, from dealing with the real issues that you have to deal with in life. Because you, you don't want to deal with them. Because you want to rest. You want to you be you're tired. You rest, you're you get exhausted. Chill, you want to you know you do everything else but deal with that. You want to take all the dopamine hits you exactly, can get. Exactly. <laughs> to, deal, to get out of that situation. I guess what happened is, like, you just got to, at, at a certain point, you got to take inventory and be like, I got to be disciplined. You know? Because, you know, and the worst part about it, sometimes you're disciplined for such a long time yeah. that it becomes exhausting. And then you want to break. You know what I'm saying? It's a break. A break. And, and, and when you get that break, then you it's hard to get back into yeah, it again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Breaks are cool and all, yeah. y'all. Take yeah. them mm-hmm. with the intent of getting back in. Exactly. Or don't okay? take them too long. Don't yeah. take too long. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stopping is a whole other story. Stopping is a whole other story. Don't do that. Don't, just yeah. don't, don't do that. I saw, okay? I saw you, know, it, you know, sorry to interrupt you. I saw mm-hmm. something where this guy says, you can just keep failing. It's okay. Mm-hmm. But just don't stop. You only yeah, fail yeah. really when you stop. Yeah. Like I was looking at, like well, I think we talked about this before. Like Elon Musk was ten years in to try to achieve certain things he wanted to get to be a right. billionaire. Like ten years. Can you? Do you have the capacity to do that? To keep on failing for ten years? That's a long time. That's a long time. I saw a post today. Yeah. David Shams was talking about something. Mm. And uh, shout out to David Shands. Shout out to David Shands so, and so Donnie Wiggins. Donnie Wiggins also. Understand? Mm. So, mm. 
what he was talking about was like he was like um it was their 300th episode mm-hmm. okay and he was like you can't name it. you you can't name that many people who <laughs> who um did something 300 times that's true. They can say they did something 300 times. Wow. Besides wake up. Yeah. You know wow. That's 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 pretty dope. And that's that's pretty dope. And I was mm-hmm. like, and then he hit he hit us with a, a stat. He was like, most people don't make it past the sixth podcast. Really? Most podcasts don't make it past the sixth podcast. The sixth? The sixth. They make they do six and they be done. Really? Yes. What? So I was encouraged. <laughs> I know we're at least on 20 something. At least, uh, I know we got at least 20. We got at least in our 20. I'm going to check that out. You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. go back because what yeah. can be go measured. Yeah. Because what can be measured can yeah. be improved. That is true. Okay? Yeah, exactly. So we're going to, we, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm tooting my horn on that one. Because we did, we did, we, we've done, we've come a lot further than, yeah, than, than the statistics that we, we should, have, we should have, yeah. You know, mm. and pushing through, man, it's mm. just like, yeah. People just don't know. Yeah, they were like, "Yo, how you do this?" I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say it. I'm a consistent person. I try to be a consistent person. I yeah. try to be, you know, yeah, on it. I try mm-hmm. to be disciplined about what I want to do. Yeah, if I'm gonna do something, I do it with fervor. I try and do it with, with with a fire to it. Yeah, and um, I really like starting stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love starting stuff. I mean, the thing is, the problem is starting stuff and not finishing it. That's that's the problem. That's the thing, and that that's the thing. You I would think all over. you can start all over, but just be everywhere. Not finishing the. It, uh, it, you got to be a finisher in life. Oh, uh, that's my thing, man. It's a, you know, because like even last night I was working on some some grooves, right? Mm-hmm. And I had like a really good because you know, I'm a guitar player, musician. I have a good practice, so I'm working on grooves and stuff. And then I was working on one this reggae stuff for a while. It's good. Mm-hmm. I'm bored with that. Got to move on to something else. You know what I'm saying? But I was thinking, like, right. what? Like, but then I found something that had, like, 80 grooves. Uh-huh. So I was like, okay, let's, that gives me enough of a span or I won't get bored right. and give enough. Because you got to learn who, you know, I remember a friend of mine told me one thing. Yeah, you got to learn how to learn. But you know what? You got to learn yourself. Right. You know, there's one, there's one, one adage, like, know thyself. Ooh. Like, you got to know what you are capable of right. and know what your expectations for yourself are. Because a lot of times it's really your self-talk. Mm-hmm. How you speak to yourself is like what you can really accomplish is based on like like I'm like okay man, you want to be a billionaire you got to keep on speaking that right. every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It. I'm like I was like I'm a billionaire. I was like I didn't feel like saying it. I was like I was like I need this money man. Guys, do the exercise. Do the exercise with us man. Like, say something good to yourself and yeah. say it every day. One day you're gonna get to the point where you're like. I'm really saying this, bro. I, I was, I was like, I did not feel good. I was mad. I had to go to work. I'm a billionaire. I don't care. What did I do this week that was like that? I went back to the. I went back to the gym this week. Oh yeah. Okay. I went good. Back to the gym yeah. yesterday. Yeah. And yeah, I'm paying for it now. Okay. Um, <laughs> I get back to the gym. Yeah. And I went back this morning. Uh huh. And. The first day, mm. the first day is not really that brutal to me all the time. Yeah, it's the day after. Of course, because your the you, day after, your body hasn't I don't gotten used lift to this much. I yeah. don't, I don't have enough. I don't have the yeah. same energy. It's a Tuesday blues. It's like it's what? a Tuesday blues. <laughs> In the beginning, you got all this energy to do one thing uh-huh. on Monday, and then the next day is like a whole other world. Your whole body aches. Your whole body. Everything has changed. changed. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I was lifting more than this yesterday. But <laughs> yeah. I guess I must have used my energy yesterday. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, you know, mm-hmm. it's always the second day that it, like kicks me in the face. Yeah, of course. It's like, ah, yeah. Yeah. like I don't want to be here. I was like, I don't want to be here. Yeah. I'm on a, I'm on, I'm sitting <laughs> down on a bike machine, bro. Really? Oh. On 15 resistance, I don't want to be here. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to be here. And I'm exactly. like, you know what? Kick it into gear. Yeah. Finish this out. Yeah. You got four more sets before you can leave this yeah. gym today. Mm. Go get it done. <laughs> get it done. Go get it done. Get it done. Just, get it done. You just get to that point where you, yeah. where you um almost, where, where the thoughts of just stopping yeah. hit you. And all yeah. you got to say is no. No. Your brain is going to be like, no. stop. Stop, 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 stop. Please stop. Your body's you, like, no. You gotta, you gotta, do exactly. This. You got to tell your brain, no, we're not. Take the minion. Eternal spirit. Go no. in there. Yeah. Don't be toxic to yourself. Exactly. All right? We, on, this, on this toxic podcast, we're talking toxic stuff now. Exactly. Right, I got into it now. Mm-hmm. I got into mm-hmm. my bag on this one. Okay. We're talking about toxic stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Talking to yourself in a negative way. Yeah. Toxic. Correct. Like, 
like you may not think you're doing it. Mm -hmm. You may not even believe that you would say something mm -hmm. to yourself. That would hurt yourself. That would hurt you. Yeah. But it happens. Yeah. It happens every day. Yeah. For some people, it happens every time somebody else says something. Yeah. All you got to do is go past that street. Yeah. When you're driving home, mm -hmm. or past that street when you're driving to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like oh, exactly. I don't want to be here. Exactly. That's toxic. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go to work. That's it's toxic. toxic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't. I don't want to deal with these people. That's, That's toxic. toxic. Exactly. That's toxic. Deal. Deal <laughs> with. Deal with them. Mm -hmm. Deal with your situation. Make a decision. Make a decision. Get grateful. Yeah, get grateful. Get grateful. Don't be grateful about abuse now. No, no, no. All you right? want to be a grateful about abuse. We're not saying that. Nah, 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 nah. Be grateful with all the good things that you have. The truth is, we're in a, in a nation where we get to kind of pick what we want to do. True. Yeah. So there's no, that's, that's the gratefulness in it. Yeah. Telling people, look, I don't want to do this anymore. Exactly. And go do something Choose else. that. Without somebody saying, you choose. without somebody killing you. Without <laughs> somebody taking you out for Exactly. Because you, you can't do that in communist countries. You, without somebody unaliving you Exa for Exactly. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't do that in North Korea. And we have to understand, <laughs> like, we don't have to understand, you know, and that's, that's, that's part of the issue. Yeah. Is that. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> It wasn't the ghost. Well, we have to understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so fell up in the, fell up in the so background. Sure. At all. It's all good. It's not moving. Oh, man. There's, oh, no, man. there's no deal. Oh, man. So, we, we're no talking the good stuff, man. We, we, I know. That's why we're I think. We're talking the good stuff, man. We've got furniture moving. Exactly. Here we go. Hmm. So, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to You don't want to come in with the ungrateful spirit because mm -hmm. then you, then you like, you're multiplying that when you get around other people. Yeah, you are. Man, they had. I was watching a, mm. a post today mm -hmm. that was talking about how, um, how certain women can be around mm -hmm. other women, mm -hmm. and if they're around each other for uh -huh. you know a longer period of time, mm -hmm. their menstrual cycles link up. What? Yeah, that is crazy. And it was. I was like, huh? Mm. But I was like. I then I started to remember like like certain things in my lifetime that started happening. I was like, whoa, that was crazy. Mm. I'm starting to remember this type of stuff. Like, like, like I, I'm I'm there. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm like, listen. I'm like, what is y'all talking about, man? Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and then uh, like I watch certain movies mm -hmm. or certain things, and then I, then people said this was studies yeah. being done, mm -hmm. and I'm like, if you're around, you know, if that can happen mm -hmm. just from being yeah in the same space yeah with somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, wow! What else is what, happening, uh, happening that you don't know? What else is happening around even with uh, even with us? Yeah, being around each other. Yeah, guys being around each other. Mm. What other stuff is happening? And I guess that's why you got to be careful of who's in your circle. Yeah, you do because it affects your chemical reactions in right. your body. And that's a big. That's a big thing. You and know, if you're around a bunch of fearful people, yeah, that's the first thing that's coming They're off coming your off body you, that yeah. people can smell. People don't understand pheromones is big too. Yeah, you know pheromones is is is, is the the the, the I guess release the gases the release of, of gases of, or of, of, off your body. Mm -hmm. And fear is one of those things that can come off you, and people can smell it. Yeah. You think you you think it's like a, a movie thing? No, it's not. It's not. It's not like like if if menstrual cycles can link up. Mm -hmm. Imagine what else. Can link up, yeah. Can link up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When you get around other people. Mm. You get around your homeboys and all of them are negative. Mm. You know why you're negative. Yeah, because okay? of that, yeah. You know why you're negative sometimes. Mm. There's no way you can be around that energy and mm. just be... Be normal. And be just be. Just, just something be. different. Yeah. Exactly. In that situation, yeah. it doesn't work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that even works with uh, with blood cells. Like I say, certain blood cells see other blood cells and it's like... You gotta go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a sickness in your body. Yeah, yeah. The, the blood cells see something wrong with that. They yeah. go after it. They're like, you gotta go. You yeah, don't exactly. Belong you don't belong here. here. You know that is. You know that is interesting. It's almost like, like when when there's a situation where those blood cells attack. Mm -hmm. Is it white blood cells attack? I think it's white. white. And and attack something. It's like, what you doing around here? You ain't supposed to be here. You toxic. You toxic. Get up out of here. We're gonna kill you. Yeah, and it, it, it is takes weird. You out. It takes what you it takes you out. It takes yeah. out whatever is the threat to your body. Yeah, Isn't that weird? That's crazy. That's Isn't that crazy? We watched. I forgot what show it was. There was a mm. couple shows where they had like mm. people that would show up, and then they then everybody sees them. Yeah. What is it? Is it um, Inception? Okay. You remember Inception? Yeah, yeah, Inception. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when the brain found out that yeah. those people don't belong in <laughs> yeah. the dream. Yeah. And they just started going after those people. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. So the the like. The the 
the point I'm bringing home mm-hmm. right about now mm-hmm. is that, like, you got to get yourself around people, around some quality people. Quality people who okay? can level your mind if up. If they're not there, mm-hmm. if they're not at that point, mm-hmm. stop waiting on people to grow. Mm-hmm. Stop that. No. Grow, you, your, grow, grow yourself. Grow yourself. Yeah. Grow yourself. Mm-hmm. And then your people, your people will come. But you know what interesting is? You, you're going to have a, a, a certain data set of people that are around you mm-hmm. who are going to either inspire you or going to take you down. Ooh. You know? So you got you to gotta get around people who are pulling on you on the inside to get better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was telling you about that whole, whole uh, conversation with that guy, I was like transformed just from that conversation. It was only like a 30-minute conversation, but mm-hmm. it just blew my mind. It just let me know like, okay, I'm focused on this. Right. And then now I'm like, my energy, he just, he was literally just talking to me. Right. And he put, it's like he put energy in me based the fact on, he's already done certain things to a certain level. Right. So him, his words put energy in me right. to, to get me to a certain level. Like some people are around, they're taking and stealing and robbing Ooh. energy from you. Like every time you see him, you're drained and you're tired, you're exhausted because all their toxicity and all the stuff that they have to deal with, their issues with people and their other issues, they that stuff gets into you. Mm-hmm. Now you're tired because I'm looking at myself. I'm like, man, I'm like more tired being around this person who's complaining. They're tired. They're exhausted. They're irritated. And you become like them. And I'm saying to myself, something is wrong. Why am I like this? It's becoming becoming like this individual. I got to get away from right. that. And if I want to, if I want to get to the place where I need to get at, I need to be away from individuals like that because that's not in my spirit to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm better. You have to think outside the box and think, okay, I'm better than this. And not only that, I'm going somewhere else that this person is not going. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you got to recognize in your life that everybody here is not coming here. And you got to already be prepared in your mind like, I'm prepared to leave from here to here. And it doesn't matter if these people don't come with me. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And I got to recognize, I got to see myself here. Right. Like, you know, I was, I was thinking about... Um, like Conor McGregor, he was talking about his, his visualization. His sister came to him, mm-hmm. and she was like, I want you to start visualizing things out. So he started visualizing things to happen. He said it didn't happen all the time. He said, but majority of things that he visualized and start speaking into existence, he said, I start seeing myself winning. I start mm-hmm. seeing myself rich. I, start see, I saw all this stuff before it actually happened. He said, at first, I didn't believe in it. But then the more that I started thinking about visualizing, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, so man thinking, so is he. Yeah. So if you want to be something, you have to be it. You have to become it. Like yeah. you have to continue. Like when I was talking about the whole billionaire thing, I was ironing. I was like exhausted, <laughs> tired. So, <laughs> Done. I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. I don't yeah. care. I'm like thinking about like all the things you got to financially deal with and all the stuff. You're like, yeah, but I'm going to be a billionaire. When is this going to take? How long is it going to take to do this? You're like, in your brain, it's like, it doesn't matter. Right. It takes whatever it takes. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And so, and you're, because if, if you think about Elon Musk, I'm sure he was a millionaire before that. Well, he was when he sold PayPal. But I didn't know that he was kicked off the board, supposedly. Wow. So, at that point, he made a lot of money, but he wasn't a billionaire yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He didn't be a billionaire until 10 years in. So, that means, that, so I'm sure he knew he wanted to do like Tesla and all these other stuff. Mm-hmm. But you can't get to those positions unless you're, you know, unless you're willing to take risks that other people are not willing to take. And those risks are usually on yourself because mm-hmm. you've got to come to the point where like, okay, I got to remove all the stuff that's stopping me from doing the things I need to do. And usually it's just you. Yeah, you're toxic it's, to you sometimes. You're toxic to you because if you can't see yourself, you're nervous, you can't be around a millionaire or a thousandaire because you're worried about what they think about you. Right. You're not going to talk and say the things that that person might key be able to say something to you that like starts to transform your life. Mm-hmm. And then you can, start, you can start taking these keys from them like, I belong here. But if you never thought you belonged there in the first place, you don't. You don't. So whatever you think you are, that's what you are. That's what you are. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, this, 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 get around those people that you mm-hmm. need to get around, y'all. Y'all yeah. know those people that aren't with your dream and yeah. aren't, with your thing, uh, aren't with your thing. That's going to lead us into our next podcast. Yes. Which we're going to be talking about mm-hmm. what women to date. Yes. We're going to be talking about this list. Let's see, don't look at this, this video. This list. 
this, this, you, list, you know, gonna, you know it's gonna be based off. It's gonna be based off this internet list that's going around. Right yeah, now. we're just gonna so discuss it's not this based list. Based off of what we, you know, what I'm saying. If how, you, we, how we go about our thing. Yeah, exactly. We might. We can tell y'all on the Patreon. Exactly. But um, if you're thin skinned don't look at this this next <laughs> podcast. It is what we, it is, man. It is what it is. Hey, we look, want all the smoke, look, anyways. Look, we, we're stand up guys. We yeah. stand on what we stand on. <laughs> exactly. And if that's how you feel. That's how you feel. Yeah, exactly. We gotta be, God, like, not gonna let anybody just play with us. Anyway. Exactly. So, exactly. With that being said, we're gonna get moving on to the next podcast right here on the D and D Leveling Up Podcast. And if you don't know, now you know. That's right, y'all. Check out the Patreon. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Comment and subscribe. Come on, come on. Check out the videos. Yes. Top over here. Tip jar, please. That's right. Make it happen. Go to Patreon, man. Deuces. Deuce. All right. Solid. Solid, brother. Let's go. Let's do it. This list now. Don't get shaky with me, man. No, Talk no. Miss C, you done name, name people. I know, right? <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs>